The main amphitheatre on INSEAD's Asia campus in Singapore was packed for the star attraction. Lalu Prasad, India's Minister of Railways, has engineered a dramatic turnaround in the fortunes of Indian Railways, taking it from the verge of bankruptcy to revenues of $6 billion last year. Indian Railways is the world's biggest employer and one of the largest and busiest rail networks in the world, carrying some 17 million people and more than 1 million tons of freight daily. It was, however, until recently, a loss-making organisation. The minister, referred to as Professor Lalu by the Indian media when they reported on the prospect of his talk at INSEAD, outlined his strategy for the rail network. Starting his term in 2004 with a budget of $200 million with which to save Indian Railways, Prasad ignored prescriptions to privatise the organisation, retrench staff and increase passenger and freight fares by 20% in every budget. He chose instead to keep on board 1.4 million employees, reduce fares by up to 45% and, while refusing to privatise the core business of Indian Railways, started public-private partnerships in some peripheral areas. Whenever any government organization and corporate house, any aided by the government, Ghata me jaate isko private, fully private me de do. Main paar ko chhod nahi kar do. Nahi, mera manna hai nahi. Mera manna hai ki imandari, vision ke saath aur commitment to the organization and vision hamari jo honi chahiye, koi karan nahi hai. without <laughs> While output increased threefold, real operating costs have fallen over the past 25 years, resulting in a strategy based on volume. By increasing the capacity of a typical long-distance train to 2,000 passengers from 800, unit costs were nearly halved. So the local industry has been in the category of the bharam, we have reduced the value of 5 percent. और भी उनको हम राहत दे रहे हैं और सारी सुविधा दे रहे हैं और भारतीय रेल में भारत का क्या क्लब तब तक नहीं हो सकता जब तक फार्मर्स का जो इंडियन फार्मर्स है हमारी इकोनॉमी क्या है भारत का कृषि है कृषि हमारा बेस है बुनियाद है करीब सात हजार रेलवे स्टेशन में हम कृषि आउटलेट खोलने जा रहे हैं ज्वाइंट बोन्सर कृषि प्रोड्यूस करने वाले जो किसान हैं, उनको दूसरे कहीं मार्केट की तलाश नहीं करनी होगी। वहाँ पर हम जॉइंट वेंचर में कोल्ड स्टोरेज और सेंटर परचेज सेंटर हम खोलेंगे। पोटैटो, मोनियन, बहुत सारी चीजों की जब जरूरत है, तो हम किसान को उचित दाम दे करके हम किसानों के जेब को गरम करेंगे और जब किसान का जेब गरम होगा तो ये जितना भी जो कल कारखाने हैं जो सामान तैयार होते हैं और इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मीडिया पर टीवी पर जिसका विज्ञापन होता है ये ले लो वो ले लो ये तो किसान क्या बच्चा भी सोचता है कि हम भी खरीदें ये मोटरसाइकिल एक बहुत छोटा ब्रोम करता है the minister is also keen to help in India's water conservation efforts. Drinking water Thank you. So, we have 
एक्सरसाइज किया एक बिना झगड़ा झंझट किए हुए चौंसठ हजार किलोमीटर नेटवर्क इंजन रेल देगा चारों तरफ जाल फेरा और रेल लाइन के किनारे आप देखते हैं साठ सत्तर मीटर राइट एंड लेफ्ट पैरल रेलवे लाइन और सारे देश में पहुंचता है और जहाँ नदियाँ हैं तो पानी वेस्ट हो जाता है वहाँ उनके साइफन बना करके उनका साइंस भेज बड़ा बड़ा हूम पाए और आप लोगों को भी इंसार्ट को इस पर थोड़ा रिसर्च करना चाहिए पेपर ओपर प्यार करिए दोनों तरफ जो हमारी लाइन है का जो वेस्ट लाइन है उसमें होम पाइप दे करके और हम इस पानी को सारे देश में भेज सकते हैं और कहीं कहीं लोकल केनाल बना के केनाल में भी उसको पाल करा सकते हैं और पीने के लिए भी हम दे सकते हैं पानी के लिए तो हम दुनिया का सबसे बड़ा भारतीय रेल बिना झंझट के बिना झगड़ा के हम इस काम को सॉल्व कर सकते हैं और हमने आइडिया दिया है और इसके लिए इन्वेस्टमेंट के लिए पैसा के लिए <laughs> Prasad also has an eye on increasing fuel efficiency. One third fuel we consume, diesel consume, Indian railway. But one third of our fuel we consume, but we don't increase the fuel of the passenger. So we have to keep an alternative. So we have to keep the main route of the main route of electrification. Electrify. हम उसको करेंगे न्यूक्लियर डील हो जाता है उससे भी हमको हो ही जाएगा न्यूक्लियर डील Earlier, advisor Sudhir Kumar spoke about the change in mindset that had been required for the turnaround by Indian Railways. These railways across the globe, they made this fundamental mistake. They thought that we are in the business of railways. And as soon as you define yourself as somebody in the business of railways, you define yourself as a monopoly. And monopolies are not known to be efficient, productive, and create value in the marketplace. Now, railways were considering market share, Indian railways were considering market share at the rate of 5% per annum, which came tumbling down from 90% in as early as 1991, down to less than 25% in host of commodities. And still, World Bank, McKinsey, everybody was saying, set up a tariff regulator. As if market is not the biggest regulator. <laughs> now, if I am a monopoly, why I am considering market share? Low-cost airlines, shipping lines, pipelines, transmission lines, road lines, they were knocking the bottom out of railways, and railways were enjoying and sleeping with their monopoly status. So that is our understanding of the, of the business. We said, that we are not in the business of railways, we are in the business of transportation. We are one of the several modes of transportation. And the only way to survive and thrive in a marketplace is to offer superior and compelling value to your customers. In an exclusive interview with INSEAD Knowledge, Minister Lalu Prasad said freight trains are Indian Railways' earning horse, adding he has extensive plans for expanding freight lines, increasing their efficiency and capturing the 60% of goods that are currently transported by road. I want to capture that goods and shift in the goods chain. So I have given several concessions and I have um, uh, consulted a committee of the traders, business classes. What is your hardship? You tell me, we will remove and we have removed it. And then uh, given concession uh, to local industries, several concessions. And I'm, um, um, every, their uh, goods are reaching properly. 
so uh, I'm going to um, construct a third line, dedicated freight corridor. I have invited some private players also in a joint venture. If but they, you know, if they will not come, then there is a huge money surplus money to me. And another is a western corridor, western another from Delhi to Mumbai. Third line, double line dedicated, and the all investment industries would be the hub of um, this Eastern Nile hubs, industrial hubs. So now the Indian Railway, before my tenure was out of market, now the Indian Railway is inside market. Everybody from abroad, local, they are watching by microscope the Indian Railway, reality of the Indian Railway. So they know very well ki, if I will invest money, my money will not in, uh, go in vain. So there is a credibility of the Indian Railway now. So people want to invest. But you're not going to be privatizing the, uh, the railway system? Not fully, no. In core sector, no private. The world class station, containers, other terminals, wagon leasing policy, some core, non core sector. I will permit, I will allow, but not the core sector. Core sector means the entire railway, rail, stations, runnings of the train, control over the train. You spoke earlier about um, congestion and about problems that goods trains have, that they have to go onto a loop um, to allow passenger trains through. Is this having an impact on econo India's economic growth? Uh, some analysts say it's there, costing there, India there, two there, to three there, percentage there, there points. There is a difficulty. So if we will kill more and more time to the goods of the any trader, how they will come to my rail? They will go by road? And there is a problem. So third line is a cure of the all disease. And more and more the tens people want. But I'm not inserting any ten because there is a um, very congestion. So I will remove this pressure to a third line, on third line, double line, dedicated. And I will insert other passengers ten. Raidhani trains, Garibrath train. Because the Indian railway is very cheaper with the comparison of the abroad also. Indian steel. And 60% goods are going by road. So every trader, every business class wants to uh, prefer rail. He may not quite be Professor Lalu yet, but the minister's presentation to INSEAD MBA participants, alumni and executives will certainly be talked about for months to come. And if his strategy does pay off, perhaps he will be able to help bring India's rail system into the 21st century. For INSEAD Knowledge, I'm Stuart Pallister.